she respected and she appreciated them. I'm going to call on one of Mom Beauty's co-workers, Mom Permala Maketa, to just come and pay a tribute to Mom Beauty. You know?
Pretty, smooth and busy. Thank you for allowing us a part of your mom. Thank you for allowing her to be a mom for us all. And you should, Sister B never talked about you, never stopped talking about you, and never stopped talking about the dream that she wanted for you. Be comforted in knowing that we too will continue the legacy and we will also be here for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Shall we all stand to our feet?
She then went to study nursing at Zebel King, where she completed her studies in 1988. She then went to work at Hilbra Hospital, where she started to have a passion about renal care. She then moved to Johannesburg Hospital and continued to work in the adult renal unit. She changed wards to 297 Kent's Renal Department. She then moved to Sunning Hill Hospital. She then went to the Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital where she continued to specialise and work as renal unit manager until her short sickness. She loved her job. She leaves behind her mother Mary, her daughter Lucy, two sons Etty and seven sisters and seven grandchildren. Thanks for all your dedication and love. You will be missed and loved by all. Rabada Pa Kutso Mokwena. We will miss you. We will miss you. Thank you, you may be seated. Amen. The word of God says, having done all to stand, you must stand. Though your back's against the wall, you'll have to stand. Amen.
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What a great loss. You know, our beauty was not only a church member, she was family. My entire family knew her. She came to my house at several occasions. She was very close to my daughter and even my grandson. Um, you know, when I heard I found Lucy because I spoke to mom in the morning, early hours in the morning, and she was just complaining about her breathing and then I played with her and when I sent a message later in the morning, she did not respond and I phoned Lucy to ask if she knows anything and she said she's on her way to the hospital. When I phoned, phoned her later, she told me that mom is no more. I was totally devastated. I don't, didn't even know how I'm going to tell my children. I, I was on my way and my daughter found out I, I literally had to run back to go comfort her. It was a sad day for the Webb family when we heard the passing of a great warrior, a friend, a mother, as well as a daughter in Christ. said I'm not going to break down but it looks like it's not easy. Um, I'm here to minister the word of God. I always start off by saying a few things because I believe that the body of Christ needs to be readjusted. Because there's so many things happening in the body of Christ that we cannot explain. And as we all know, my beauty was a, a, a person, a mother of order. Nothing that she did was out of order. And I think we owe her that much to bring order to everything that we do. Because she was a great example of order. She taught us a lot of order in the church. She used to reprimand all of us. And that was the type of person she is. If she sees something wrong, she will not keep quiet. She would come straight out and say it. And therefore I always say this, I say that we the body of Christ, number one I'm going to say about two things, we the body of Christ, if we are not careful, the next generation might never know God. They might know about God, but they might not know Him, if we are not careful. If we don't pull up our socks and show our children Jesus, they will never...